bunnies. Learn about more adorable animals by subscribing to the channel. And thank you to Super Mario fan King Boo for today's request. Equipped with bunny ear-like appendages and a bunny tail-like floof, it's no wonder these teeny sea slugs have won over the hearts of many internet users. One species in particular is referred to as THE Sea Bunny, however, many of the other members of that genus look hippity hoppity as well, so we'll include all of them in this episode because, hey, the more cuteness the better, right? Though, I gotta say, there is one member of this genus who is commonly called the funeral nudibranch. So basically it's like, death? Bunny? Slug? Also, there are sea slugs that might look similar to sea bunnies, but aren't part of the same genus. Honestly, as is usually the case, sea slug classification is ever-changing. Heck, there might even be more than the 20 or so currently accepted species of sea bunnies, which means there could be more cuteness to discover. Though they look super huggable, they aren't exactly the best snuggle buddies. They eat sponges, which makes them toxic. This generally means other animals stay away from them, though they are eaten by other nudibranchs. And I know we mentioned earlier that these guys are teeny, but sometimes it's difficult to truly express something's size in photos. These sea slugs average about an inch in length, okay? So like, they could fit on Chester's paw. They're tiny, adorable, and also sort of kind of deadly. What more could you ask for? The ears of sea bunnies are called rhinophores, and are likely used to sense the environment. The tail is the sea bunny's gills, and in this genus, those gills are retractable. That's not the only thing they're able to retract. <coughs> like all sea slugs, sea bunnies are hermaphrodites. These guys specifically pierce each other with hook or harpoon-like projections. They only really live for a year or less, so they gotta make the best of the time they have. It's like consensual spearing, because they both do it. This also means that both individuals lay eggs. Their eggs are in ribbony sheets and take about three weeks to hatch. Sea bunnies mostly stay in coastal areas, and they're almost always found on or near their food. It's like Chester laying in front of the food cabinet door. Sea bunnies can also be found in many different places. They've been seen in the Pacific Ocean and